What's up, what's up, what's up? How is everybody doing? I hope fabulous. I'm Desi, if you're new, if you're not new, welcome breaking back. So, if you're seeing this, I'm just here to assure you, or to give you a little nudge towards transcending a cycle that has been following you for a long time. Now I don't like to use this word, but I'm just going to use it because, well, this is how you're going to understand it. In a sense, you're being tested right now. If you're seeing this, you had sent out an energy through your words, through your vibration, that you are not going to tolerate a specific theme in your life that is of a particularly frustrating energy. It's no good or bad, but this is this is something that you keep experiencing that is not in alignment with 144 on the timer. What it is that you desire. I'm hearing that this has a lot to do with stability. Worthiness, deservingness, abundance, experiencing. Because in, in natural law, there is no lack. It is unnatural for there to be lack. But understand that you're going through a cycle of, I think they say it's entropy, from chaos to order. You're being presented with some chaos right now. You're being presented with a choice in which story you are going to choose this time. What meanings you're going to place this time because your reality is a direct reflection of what you believe it to be. So if you're going through a particularly challenging experience or something that appears to be a challenging experience, you're basing, if you are basing the outcome off of what has happened before, because this is a redundant cycle That is where you're being asked to choose differently this time. Hopefully that makes sense. What story are you going to choose this time? Is it going to be a story of defeating, being defeated? Or is it going to be a story of being the victor? Because it's all in what you believe it to be. What do you believe that this experience is? Because in all truth, everything is always working out for you. Everything is always in your highest good. And I know you've heard that. Everything is always working in your favor. But it's the stories that say that it's not. The stories that you're telling yourself that you're saying that this is bad, this isn't good, this is not for me, this is going to defeat me. Those are the stories that take you out of natural law. You're experiencing this to break that cycle.
what you are is all abundant. What you are is love. What you are is light. So it's time to choose the story that aligns with what you truly are. Instead of identifying with the emotions as what will be. This is a phase of transcendence, of transformation, of choosing a different story. Of choosing to be the creator and not the victim. And understanding that it's here, presenting itself to you, asking you, staring you right in the eyes. Do you know who you really are? Do you know what you truly are? Or do you still believe yourself to be this body, this emotion, this thought? Do you know that you have the power to choose? Circumstances do not matter. You are the maker of the circumstance by the meaning that you apply to the observation of what it is that you are experiencing. Everything is always in your favor. So be careful this time around on what meaning you're, you're placing on it. You are unstoppable because you are all that is. You are at the center. You are the zero point. You are at the center. And what path are you going to go? Victim, creator, acceptance of now and moving forward into truth because lack is a lie. It is not natural. Choose a different meaning this time. Trust in your power to choose. Trust in your free will to choose. Because your reality is what you believe it to be. So what are you choosing to believe it to be? This is all that creation is, is choice. Because at the end of the day, it's all divine perfection. Divine perfection lies in your choice. It is not dual, it is neutral. So, what's it gonna be? Love you all.